So in some of my past videos and with a lot of the people I've been working with, um, I emphasize the importance and the usefulness of doing something called shadow journaling, which is when you are down, when you feel bad, to get in touch with those feelings and to write them down on paper. Now, here's the thing. When you've done that, you have complete permission to use positive thinking. Okay. So in fact, it's another vital step in this. It's not either or it's not just focusing on shadow journaling all the time. When you've done that, you do do that, then that's vitally important, but you combine that with thinking in a different mindset, in a mindset that is actually of a higher level. So I'm giving you permission today if you need it. You don't need it from me, of course, but I would like to emphasize, start to think positively. Once you do the work on your shadow self, get in touch with what that depression wants to say, what that anxiety wants to say, and you've done the work, when you're ready, then start to discover, oh my God, you know what? I can actually do whatever I want. I actually am good enough. I am capable. I am worthy of getting the things in life that I want. Allow yourself to say it. In fact, don't even allow yourself to do it. <laughs> it is so important to do that, right? And I should have emphasized that in past videos because doing the, um, the hope of course is that by doing the shadow work that it naturally comes about, right? The, the thoughts, the positive thoughts, the positive mindset comes about. But I think in some of the past videos, I had emphasized it so strongly that people were just completely focusing on shadow journaling. It, it was, it's always with the intention of moving into the positive. Okay. So you will naturally move yourself into the positive mindset and start to use more positive ways of talking to yourself. So you can bring it in as a part of your practice. If you're that type of person that has a daily practice, which I always recommend you should have. In fact, I think it's, it's the best thing you can do for yourself. Do the shadow work, but then reap the benefits, allow yourself to have the benefits, to start seeing things in completely new ways, talking to yourself in new ways, writing a new story for yourself. My story is what I was, is only what I, my imagination is limited to. <clears throat> so full permission, start to use positive thinking, not as a bandaid to cover up the negative stuff, work on the negative stuff and then move into the positive stuff. That's where your power is. That's where your inspiration is. That's where you're going to get your energy. Bundles of it will come to you when you start to really embrace the positive side of things and living from that side, doing what the positive, proactive, optimistic part of yourself, that mindset wants you to do. So bear in mind, you have two parts, positive and negative, and work on both and use both. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like if you if you enjoyed this video. And um, you can reach me on my website, uh, drdavemurray.com, if you'd like to work with me one-to-one. -one. Take care. Hope you have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.